Testimonies, uh, you send the emails to testimony at common impact center dot church, amen. And uh, it feels really good to be in the house of God again. Last week, Sunday, I was not around, I was in um, Aberdeen uh, to welcome uh, our new uh, members, new students who were coming into um, the city um, of Aberdeen. And we thank God for the great work that uh, Reverend Blessing and Jeremy and his wife, um, Reverend Rita, are doing in Aberdeen. And um, I pray that God will continue to strengthen them. 
and to strengthen the work there in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for those of you who are watching with us for the first time, whether in person or online, you're welcome to church. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is Church of God Mission International Community Park Centre here in Dagenham, London. And I'm you know, glad to you know, uh, be the pastor over this assembly. And um, if you don't have a place, a permanent place of God, you want to be this place of God, I'll be glad to be your pastor. Hallelujah. Uh, today, by the grace of God, I will go into and just deliver a prophetic word that the Lord gave me. And usually when we do um, a prayer week like this, I'm always listening to see what would the Lord say at the end of the prayer week. If he wants us to pray on the Sunday, so be it. But if he just wants to give us a word, whatever the spirit of the Lord wills, so be it. Hallelujah. And um, in, um, in Revelation, God, oh God. this morning, in, in Revelation, life. the spirit of God gave me a word. There are two words, two words in a Revelation this morning. And he said, don't panic. Don't panic. Now, I don't know who that word may be for. I don't know how it applies to you at this point in time. But, but as the word begins to come forth, receive that which belongs to you Amen. and walk in the light of it Amen. and you will find rest for your souls Amen. in this month of the God-given harvest in Jesus' name. Amen. Come with me to First Chronicles chapter 14 from verse 1 to 4 and also verse 7 to 17. And while you're doing that, I want to also say happy International Men's Day. And today is the 19th of November. Is, 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 there's no confusion between this one and Father's Day because not all men are fathers. Am I correct? Yes, uh -huh. yes. So, um, but this is today's International Men's Day, and um, the, the theme for this particular one is zero suicide. Zero suicide. And um, the reason why it's that way is because suicide is something that you know has claimed <coughs> lots of lives of men, and not just in this country. Uh, you know, there's some, you know, there's some parts of the world you never used to hear about suicide, especially in, you know, my native country, Nigeria. You never used to hear of suicide, you know, as, as a thing. And now you're hearing people go walking on the third main on bridge in Lagos and just jumping into the lagoon, and you're wondering what is the problem. But um, on a day like this, we want to appreciate all the men, uh, whether married or not, whether fathers or not, for all the great work you do for um, your contribution. Just thank you for that, for your contribution to society. We believe in the God that believes in you. And we know that uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are fulfilling destiny Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, First Chronicles chapter 14, verse 1 to 4, and verses 7 to 17. It says, Now here I'm king of Tyre, sent messengers to David and cedar trees with masons and carpenters to build him a house. So David knew that the Lord had established him as a king over Israel. For his kingdom was highly exalted for the sake of his people Israel. What did he do next? Then David took more wives in Jerusalem. <laughs> and David begot more sons and daughters. And these are the names. I won't bother myself reading through the names. Now when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. And David heard of it and went out against them. Then the Philistines went and made a raid on the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? The Lord said to him, Go up, for I will deliver them into your hand. So they went up to Baal Perazim, and David defeated them there. Then David said, God has broken through my enemies by my hand like a breakthrough of water. Therefore they called the name of that place Baal Perazim. And when they left their gods there, David gave a commandment and they were burned with fire. Then the Philistines once again made a raid on the valley, once again. Therefore David inquired again of God and God said to him, you shall not go up after them, cycle around them, and come upon them in front of the mulberry trees. And it shall be when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the mulberry trees, then you shall go out to battle. For God has gone out before you to strike the camp of the Philistines. So David did as God commanded him, and they drove back the army of the Philistines from Gibeon as far as Giza. Then the fame of David went out into all lands, and the Lord brought the fear of him upon all nations. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Now we find here in this um, scripture, First Corinthians, I mean First Chronicles, chapter fourteen, from this one. 